Hello, welcome. To <laughs> Hi, everybody. Praise Ministries International. That was intentional, <laughs> believe me. I was, I was purposely doing that. I just wanted to see where we were going with that. I didn't know where we were going with that. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, but welcome to uh, Praise Ministries, Ministries International, International Prayer, Prayer Time. And, yeah, we are praying tonight because we feel that we should. Yep. We do. We feel it. The Lord uh, pressed it on our hearts uh, just before... Uh, New, New Year's. New Year's to add an extra uh, time on the internet here, or Facebook, to to uh, pray, and that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, baby. So let let, let me get us started here. You get just you get us started, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's from Psalms thirty-seven. Psalms thirty-seven, great Psalm. Five two seven. It says, "Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him." Yes. And He shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light, Yo. and your justice as the noonday. Whoa! Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret because of Him who prospers in His way. Amen. Because Do of not. a man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Amen. Because we have a lot of wicked the schemes, schemes out there on. going on right now. And they seem to think the more they talk about it, the more they believe it. And actually, it it's, it's a, you know the bloviating lies yeah. yes yeah. too we, much lord we, we bind that up in the name, name of jesus, jesus and cast that into the sea make the people silence so they can't go on oh every liar will be cast into the lake of fire that's what the bible says yes it does indeed if you lie you die you, you fry. fry yep that's what it says i know i know we bring it up in this house all the time but i want to encourage each one of you tonight because as uh pastor rob was saying it the beginning of Psalms 37, it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity. There is so much. Like I put on Global Prophetic Voice yesterday a word by Dr. Billens about stop being jealous. I mean, it was phenomenal word. Go to Global Prophetic Voice, subscribe. It's just, you got to do that. But I just want to share today that the scriptures that Rob was reading, Rob, read that chapter, read verse 5 again. I think that was so good. Yeah, and I, and I think what we're trying to get to is, it tells you a promise here in, in yep. number 9. Yep, go ahead. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in yes. him, and he shall bring it to pass. Yes, hallelujah, commitment. You know, one of the things that we are not seeing enough of in the body of Christ is our commitments. Commitment. Um, we say things, we say we're going to do things. Somebody has a prayer request. They go, oh, praying. But are you really praying? praying Not everybody is really praying. Sometimes they just say it. And, you know, that's just kind of like the way it goes. But what we need to do is if we give our word, yes, we should honor our word because our word is our bond. And Molly needs to go outside. She just came in. She yeah, came she did. She just came in, but she's asking to go out. But anyway... Commitment is a really big word that we don't see a lot of. Right. We don't hear a lot about commitment. We hear a lot of different things, but we don't hear a lot about commitment. And today the Lord was really laying on my heart, where is the, where are the committed saints? I mean, I know you're out there. Don't. Yes. I know you're out there. But it, it, where are they? Where You know, when you commit your ways to the Lord, do you know he elevates you? That's right. He puts you in positions. He puts you in a sphere of influence. It may be a big sphere of influence. It might be a small sphere of influence. But the sphere of influence is still very important. Mm -hmm. And so we have to understand that, one, we can't be jealous right. of those that seem to be prospering in their evilness. Don't be jealous of that. And we have to be careful even about that, I think, even in the political arena. Yes, we do. Because I think in the political arena, there's so much jealousy and there's so much fighting and contention for this and for that, that we have to remember that years ago, it used to be that the way the church went, the government went. But since COVID, it's been the way the government went is how the church is going. So we have to kind of shift this back a little bit, this paradigm back. Right. And I feel like maybe perhaps we should really start praying about God helping us return to our first love. Yes. You know, that love of 
of Christ, that love of winning souls, that love of being a part of a body of believers that stands for you and not against you. And will you have people that stand against you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to find people don't agree. But just because they don't agree doesn't mean you have to hate them. That's right. Oh, as a pastor of a church, I can't tell you how many times somebody in order to leave the church because they were given a, a position somewhere else where in our church the position was already filled. By the way, we are looking for a praise and worship leader. But I had to kind of look at it. In no, we got it. But the truth is, is we've had people that find something to complain about in church to hate in order to justify why they're leaving going to another right. place instead of sitting down with the leadership and committing their way to the lord and saying this is my issue i've been offered this position either you can make it or you can release me but i want to go with the blessings right because we want the blessings of god when sister karen came to our church it was really hysterical I mean, it was really hysterical because her pastor wrote me a letter and handed me her uh, membership and said, I really believe she needs to be with you because she will stand by you. And she's been with us for 34 years. So I'm encouraged about people who are steadfast and they go through the ups and downs and ins and outs and all the things with you. But there are those that have forgotten the ways of commitment, the ways of being commit. And, and, and actually, I, and I think it's past now, too, about the COVID. Because mm, I, maybe. if not, people still got to realize that's what's going on. That's the spirit that's involved. But there, in yeah, there's a spirit involved with that. But now we've developed that ourselves. Now we're like, oh, I don't have to do this because, because, because. But when you think about that word commitment, mm -hmm. part of that word is community. community commitment community you know and yeah that's right we we've seen a lot of forsaking of assembling in the house of god and we've seen a lot of people who just say i don't have to go to church i am the church these are people that are wounded these are people that um have may been offended these are people that might be afraid these are people that might even feel that something might be said to them that will hurt them or somebody might judge them because there's such a big, big spirit of judgment out there and condemnation. And so tonight, I want us to pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus. that we break that spirit of confusion that causes us not to be obedient, be obedient. Mm -hmm. and we also ask you, God, to break the yes, spirit yeah of lack of commitment mm -hmm. for fear of other people. Yes. And Lord, we know those are real because we've suffered them ourselves. Yes. I mean, you were in the military. You you know what it's like to now know what your those over you are going to think of you and, and everything else. Yep. And, you know, I've been in a pastor of the church now. This is 35 years. And I've seen a lot. And I won't say because I've seen it all. Because once I say that, something, something else, else is going to happen. But see... That's the whole thing. You're continually learning, too, also. That is, pastor, that's the key. That's the thing. Once you stop learning is when you start backsliding. All right. Start well, backing away from what your Well, it's original, called backsliding. Which is, which is your original intent, which is your first love, which was, it all goes back to that because you start thinking that, uh, and I'm speaking from my own experience. Oh, always. That, uh. And, I, and I'm and i always more comfortable in the house of the Lord, regardless of what's going on. Oh, I don't pay attention to all the fluff, and I'm the pastor. Mm -hmm. I don't. I just go in, and, you know, if the realm is built, you walk in. If the realm's not built, build it. Um, it's just simple as that. Why? Because the church was not made for perfect people. That's right. It, the church was not made for the righteous. It was made for the sinner. And all of us have sinned and fallen short of the, the glory, glory of God. God yeah. And, you know, I want to invite you on Wednesday nights. We are teaching on the glory of God with signs, wonders, and miracles. miracles. We've, we've got a biblical foundation. We're really going for it. We invite you to come to Praise Ministries at 1150 North 5th Avenue in St. Charles. And come be a part of us on Wednesday nights because it's a teaching night. It's teaching and releasing. And we're getting ready to walk in the heavenlies. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. But as we get back to commitment, are you committed to prayer are you committed to seeing the things that God has shown you to come to pass they may not come past today but they're supposed to come pa to pass sometime or another and and pastor Robert had a 
had a word tonight that he really felt that there needs to be a lot of healing. healing. And we know that in, in Church Sunday, we were surprised at how many people said, I feel sick, I feel mm -hmm. this, I have pain here, and I have pain there. And, you know, right now, before we even go any further, if you have a prayer request, if you feel sick in your body, like right now, I just felt it right there, right there. There's somebody mm -hmm. in your left hip, it, you have pain that goes up your back, you know, slightly up the small of your back. It's coming from your left hip. And I'm asking God right now in the name of Jesus to heal that left hip. Lord, it, it's been so cumbersome to this person. And I just ask you to heal that left hip yes. in Jesus, Jesus name. Lord. Robert, begin to pray for those that are sick in body. Well, Lord, right now we bring before you all these people that have afflictions. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, and, and we know it's the environment that we're in, Father because the, they're all uh mm. they're not of you father and father we yeah. ask you lord to bring them people uh, mm -hmm. and their bodies into a physical alignment lord yes you lord, designed, do you it, designed lord. a perfect vessel do it lord, lord. do it and lord. father it is a perfect vessel and father we just ask you lord in jesus yes, name lord. to touch those things lord yes I, lord I right now i feel there, there's someone right Shama now that, that, has, that has a jaw ache like right up here oh my goodness i want you to put your left hand oh, my on that right now and touch it up here I don't know if it's a toothache oh, or what it is, God, but I also know that it Jesus. feels like the jaw is yeah, just throbbing. Amen. And Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to touch that right now. We ask you, Lord, to relieve that pain, take yes, it away, Lord, yes, clear Lord. up what Praise is ever Lord. causing Lord. it in Jesus' mighty name. Oh my we gosh! Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh! You were just we talking should. about that, and Mama Billy just put in there about someone with a wisdom tooth taken out today Ooh, in the name of Jesus. That was a word of knowledge, Robert. And there's someone else. I don't know who you are, but you have pressure behind your eyes and. And that pressure behind your eyes is affecting everything that you see. Yes. And you know what? It could even affect you spiritually. So we pray right now in the name of Jesus for the pressure behind your eyes to be released. And whatever's causing it, it could be sinus. Even the sinuses yes, need to be healed. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to touch the pressure behind the eyes in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank Lord. You, Lord. If anyone else that's on has a prayer request, please do it, and I'm going to put the dog out. Come on, Molly. Let's go outside. Go ahead, Rob. Okay. Bring them on the video. All righty. Yes, Lord. Oops. Go ahead. Keep praying. You're right there. <laughs> You're right there. You're right there. Who else has um, a prayer request? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, Carol Baroni, how are you? We pray right now for Tony, her husband, who's had some issues. We just pray right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray in the name of Jesus for Tony to be healed. And sinus pressure, I just called yes. that out. They just said Michael has sinus pressure. We pray for that yep. sinus pressure to be released. Open up release yes, Lord open up Jesus. the sinus. Even the one at the very top of the head where the Ooh, sinus shut, 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 doesn't shut, even get treated many of the times. Yes, Lord, I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, and take that, uh, my goodness, whoever's suffering, they got pain in their neck mm. all the way up into their head, down just between their shoulder blades. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, I can feel that. I ask you, God, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, to release that pressure Christian. in the head, release that we pressure in the up, back of the either. head that's going um, up the scalp and down. Yes, in the Lord, name of Jesus, Jesus, we release that. that. In the name of Jesus, by implying and inviting jesus to come and touch whoa oh, come up. and touch that oh, very Lord. spot in the name oh Lord. hallelujah that vertebrae that part that's causing all yes, that pain Lord. in the he name of jesus that's swelling in the he neck oh lord hallelujah yeah. in the name of jesus, jesus lord Thank i'm you, asking lord, you god you, hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord. hallelujah. Lord. lord in the name of jesus touch and heal <laughs> that part of the body yes, right lord. now in the name of jesus if that was you and tonight I want you to begin to move your head from left to right, up and down. Don't do this stuff where you go real fast. Stop it. Just stop that nonsense. When, you, when someone asks you to move your part of your body, move slowly because it took you time to get into that position. You start whipping yourself all around. Next thing you know, you hurt yourself even more. So stop it. Just start going slowly like this. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. seriously, seriously. 
The Lord showed me this one day when we were praying for someone's back. That I said, can you touch your toes? So they quickly bounced down to try. I said, no, 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 stop it. I said, I want you to stand up straight. I want you to take a deep breath and bend over and try and touch your toes slowly. It took you a while to get into this position. So now take your time and let God touch your spine from the base of the spine all the way up into the cranium, from the cranium all the way down. Don't quickly make a movement and make yourself another injury. Go slow so God yes, can Lord. touch all of it. And so we ask God to do that in the name Lord of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Tony's coming home on his 90th birthday from the hospital. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, Pearly is on, and she said, pray for my friend Jay. She has ringing in her ears. I tell you, Lord, that right ringing now, in the ears. Go tonight ahead, us, Robert. Lord, we pray for that right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. We ask for that to cease. They say oh, there's no the way to be healed, Jesus. so we know the Lord, you yes, have to you touch Yes, you can heal that, Lord. You can touch Lord. that in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, you can. Hallelujah. I know. Hallelujah. Father, you, you can you, you do can it. Clear them. You can clear the, all that yes. stuff up in the ear that is causing that, Hallelujah. Lord, loud noises, oh, if that's what it was. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. We ask for that to be repaired Hallelujah. Being in an airplane. Being in a concert. Hallelujah. Whatever up. causes it, Lord, we don't care. We just ask you to just be invited yes, to touch it. I have this thing in my spirit that I think we would see a lot more healings if we gave an invitation to Jesus to come and touch yeah. instead of telling Jesus what to do. I think we should open it up for an invitation and ask Jesus Oh, yes, here's another one with ringing in the ears. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we invite you to touch those ears, mm -hmm. Lord. We just give you all the credit in the name of Jesus. The inner part of the ears, the behind the ears, we the part of the brain. God, in, in the, the name Jesus, of Jesus, Jesus Lord. Lord, we just ask you to we touch shall, that we, we in the name of Jesus. Into them ears right now, yes, the Lord, Jesus. even the ears that have had infections in them and have had bone problems in the ears, Lord, I'm asking you, God, Oh, by the blood oh, of Jesus, Jesus, that you would touch and heal yes, Lord, and restore the hearing Thank to you, its Lord. original intent mm. in the name of Jesus. I feel, I, I'm feeling that pain in my hip again. That it's, I can feel that it's in the left hip. It's like close to your spine and it's going up your back a little bit. You and I'm asking that, God to touch that because it's tight and it's given you problems yes, for quite some time. So I ask God to heal that. I invite you, God, to move in Jesus' name, Amen. and I thank you for it, Lord. I thank, thank you. you, Lord. We Hallelujah. give you thanks, Lord, to because you are great glory, and mighty. Honor, you are great and mighty, and we are committed tonight to this community of prayer warriors mm -hmm. tonight. We are just actively deciding yes. that t this is the year when prayer must increase we must decrease yes, and Lord. god must increase yes, Lord. and when god Ye increases in us there's power yeah. there's power in the name of jesus hallelujah there's power in jesus name yes that spirit of deafness must go, go in, in jesus, jesus name, name. Amen, amen amen i also felt tonight that there was somebody this is like one of the craziest things i've i've felt in a in a long time. Do you have pain in the arch of your foot? There's something wrong with the arch of the foot. And I'm asking God to have that arch of the foot healed in the name oh, of Jesus, Jesus, that those bones and that arch of the foot would be would be restored, but it would be properly what's the word I'm looking for? When you have an insert, you have a proper support. I'm asking God to show the proper support for the person who's having continuous pain in the arch of yes, their the heels or the arch of their foot. And I pray, Father, once again, that we commit our way unto the Lord and he is faithful and just to direct Number us. Seven. And we invite you, Holy Spirit, Never to be. direct us even now, even in this pr prayer time, hallelujah, even Never in this up, moment man. of time, that we ask you to direct us, to put our th our sights on things yes, above Lord. and not on the things of the earth that we would look for the coming of the Lord not for the has been but what is coming yes. Lord we aren't looking back we're looking forward we're in the moment of now faith is hallelujah, hallelujah. glory to God glory to God for this a glory of God we to show things and it's a power of kings to set it out and I want you to know that we are searching out 
about the things of God. We are looking for the things of God. We're looking for signs, wonders, miracles. We are asking God to totally move in our lives, yes, transform our lives, bring our lives into the unity of the faith so that we could be in one accord, that all of heaven yes, will yes, shake in the name of Jesus. And we can rend the heavens and rend yes. our hearts and that we would be pure before the Lord. So he is faithful yes, and just Lord, to hear Shepherd. the righteous you, when Lord. they pray. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah, Lord. Cleanse us from all Shepherd. iniquity and bring us into the place of now faith is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Does anyone else online have a prayer request? We Yes, Carol. He sent his word and healed our diseases. Psalms 107. We receive your healing words in our bodies. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, as on earth as it is in heaven, we release eternity to invade our moment of time. We are asking God to release the heavens and bring it into now, now. so that yes. we can pray the effective, fervent prayer that avails much in the name of Jesus. We need to see some availing and we need to see some prevailing and we need to see some travailing yes. before the Jesus Lord because name, too, oh, too often, Robert, too often we, we hear prayer requests and we go, oh God, touch that. Thank you. Amen. Move on to the next one. Touch this one, that one. Amen. We can't do that. Sometimes we have to linger in the presence for the sake of a soul. For the sake of a neighbor, for the sake of God's purpose and plans that he has for us are for good and not evil. Hallelujah. Thank you, well, Lord, Jesus. Right now, in the name of Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Well, Thank you, Jesus. We care for the families. I think I got another. Oh, go ahead. Lord, Lord, go ahead. Give me something right now. Lord. Go ahead. We, we just ask you, Lord. We invite you, Lord. We, 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 we preach your glory. We, yes. And healing to this guy's. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a man, a male's uh, Achilles tendon from the right side, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that, that that you touch that right now in the name of Jesus, Father. That Achilles? Could, yeah, it was Achilles. Ow, in the Father, name of Jesus, Father, I could, touch. I, I can see it right now, Father. I can see your hand coming down upon Ooh, it, Father. Lord, in the Lord, name of Jesus, Jesus, touch and heal. You, Lord, to touch heal and that. heal, touch and heal. Jesus, touch and you, heal, Lord, we touch and heal. Take, that'll take away the pain oh, from the God, back and the no hip on that side. Oh, God, no more pain, no more pain. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, that I saw. In the name of Jesus, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. And, Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, for that yes the Achilles. this is not yeah for the achilles but there's i heard this word sty in the eye mm. what's a sty oh i know what that is that's Something. that bump like in the eye on the oh, yeah. surface of the eye so lord in the name of jesus we Release ask you right to now, heal the, the sty in the eye from the guy in the sky <laughs> in the name of jesus Hallelujah. lord Thank we just lord. ask you to heal that just take whatever that is yes. that eyelash or whatever that's causing that bump on that that rim of that eye, I can see it. It's red and mm. it's sore. And I pray in the name of Jesus that that inflammation would go, go down, down in the name of Jesus, Jesus and God would glory, restore. God would Jesus restore name. that eye Hallelujah. in the we name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus yes. In the name of Jesus. Does anyone have a prayer request? Hallelujah. We thank you and welcome all of you that are coming on. But if you have a prayer request for healing, tonight yes. we want to pray for you we want to pray for you yes, and Lord. somebody put in I, I somebody said to pray about all those people that have suffered from covid lord in the name oh, of jesus. jesus we ask you lord that you would touch this this horrible thing that's affected the the people of the world and we ask you god to supernaturally remove the the um, duration of what COVID has done, remove the chemical impartation that's been placed upon the people, remove it, God, and start giving people victory and testimony that they do not have long COVID, that they are yes, healed Lord. in the name of Jesus, the coughing. You know, I had the RSV virus and I developed Prayer. asthma from you that. It was the most horrible Lord, thing I ever went hallelujah. through in my life. And I ask you, God, God, for the people that have suffered from COVID, RSV, pneumonia, and all those arenas of the lung and the passages, we just invite Holy Spirit to just come and touch, well, touch and heal. Well, Lord, we just thank you right now. And on the COVID thing, Lord, there's 
Someone now was just asking about this long COVID has been draining the body, has not been able to do function. Mm. And it's a younger person, Lord. Well, Lord, Father, touch. We ask you, Lord, to touch that person right now in the name of Jesus, Father. We we, we, we speak your glory and your love. Oh, hallelujah. We're healing yes. into that. Restore mm -hmm. that energy. Mm -hmm. Restore that. Restore to repair repair hallelujah. the lungs, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, that were damaged from yes. this COVID, the long COVID. The, and the RSV and the pneumonia. Because so many people have suffered in that when they've yes. received long effects from that. And just to release that pressure in the lungs. Yes. Yes. And we have a prayer request here from Sonia. Hi, Sonia. We love you so much. It's been a while since we talked to you. Um, I pray. She's praying for strength for her daughter, Lee, as she transitions back into her care. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is an answer to prayer in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the reunification of a family. And we ask you in the name of Jesus that you would bring this transition and it would be quick and it would be wonderful and that this family would be united for the glory of God, for the glory of God. Sonia, I want to hear the great testimony that's going to come up. You've labored a long time for this. And so I ask God to just restore and reconcile quickly i oh carol uh, said she would love to see the body of christ start walking in divine health and healing amen in the name of jesus and it's called divine health well, the and holy healing. spirit won't let this long covid go oh go ahead if you feel if you're still feeling Lord, it pray long covid Lord. long covid so Lord. so somebody who's been suffering for a time. long time yes. all right the other stuff, yes, that needs yes. to touch. Don't this, worry, just go. Long COVID, Lord. Again, pray. Lord, you, you you have continued to pray. Uh, place it on my heart that you're not done with that person's healing yet, Lord. And Father, we just ask you, Lord, we ask that person to receive their healing, Lord, to take it, Lord, and be fully restored to their prior to COVID status, Lord. And Father, we just ask you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we just thank you, Lord, that right now I can see you touching. I can see you clearing out all that goop and that funk, whatever it is that's in that lungs that's caused us long yes, COVID that, they're proof, that, that robs them of their energy. Yes, Lord. Robs yes, them of Lord. Their yes, Lord. Lord, we just ask you, Lord. Strength. 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 Yes. Go ahead. Keep going. I'm just agreeing. That. Hallelujah. And Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to continue to, 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 feel, to uh, fill that person back up totally, Lord. Yes. And let it be a miracle. Or those that are listening now, even not just this one Close. person, I, I see multiples Stay. now coming up on the same thing. In the name of COVID. Jesus, long They have nothing COVID. to do. They've tried everything. They've oh, prayed. They, they have not given up. But Father, we pray right Jesus. now in the name of Jesus that you continue to touch them, that they will feel and they will know that you have touched them and that they will be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Heal, restore. Heal, restore. Heal, restore, Lord, heal, and restore. restore. Thank you, Lord. Bring the body back into its an original intent of alignment in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Father. Go oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. I want to share with you, we had a lady that came to church last Wednesday night. Not last night, last Wednesday night. And her daughter had fallen and broken her arm way up high. Yes. And we prayed for her arm. And I said, you know, you're going to have the x-ray. It's going to come back. It's not broken. And she goes, well, I hope so. And she said her hand was hot. She went home and prayed for him. They had the x-ray yesterday. The arm's not broken. They took the cast off. And you can this see where is it was broken, it was yeah, healed. Yeah. yeah, it was healed. And so we're yeah, very awesome. excited about what God's doing yeah. because he wants to bring healing to the body. Yeah, he yeah, wants you hallelujah. to be healed so you can run your race and so you can fulfill the commitments that God has placed on your life. Did you know oh, your calling on your life has no age barrier? Oh, you're never too young and you're never too oh, old. You just are obedient souls. And so tonight we are asking for that obedient soul oh. that has felt that they could not fulfill the duty of God yes, on Lord. their life for whatever reason. We ask for those reasons to be removed and that the favor of God would come upon. Now, I pray in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, those that have labored so hard in the ministry and you've received nothing. At least you don't. Yes. You've received nothing. nothing. You, you feel like you've given it all away and you've received nothing. Mm. I've got news for you. Your favor has been yes. stored up for a deluge of a blessing right. there is a blessing to those coming that have labored and labored and felt like they received nothing so i encourage you i encourage you to continue to believe and continue to sow because if you don't sow you don't grow 
And so we want you to continue to sow in your churches, continue to sow where God tells you to sow. Go back Don't to for, your churches. Yeah, get back to your church. Pay your tithe. You know, in churches like ours that are spirit-filled, we, we had a lot of people leave because of COVID. All during COVID, our church was filled with people because their churches were closed. But once churches opened, everybody left. And we found out that almost 60% of churches like ours that are spirit-filled, that believe in signs, wonders, and miracles, the glory of God, that believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and everything supernatural and natural, they have all closed. They have all closed. And it's by the grace of God that we've been able to stay open. So I'm encouraging you to get to these churches. Get in there. Bring your gifts. Bring your talents. Bring yourself. And if you need a place to come, come to Praise Ministry. Yeah, come to, if you're in the Chicagoland area and out in the suburbs and you don't have a place to go, we'd love to have you. You know, bring your gift, bring your talent, bring your craft, bring what God has given you. You know, we are calling the prophets to rise. And I, oh. I just got a word. The Lord spoke to me and said that there are prophets getting ready to come forth that have never been heard of before. And I am excited about that because I believe that's about to happen. And I believe that it's important that we pray for the people that are going to hear God's word and proclaim it. You see, you see it, you say it, and then you act upon it. You see, that's how it works. You see it, you say it, and you act upon it. You see Jesus, you begin to move and begin to believe, and then you get filled with the Holy Ghost, and you begin to war, and you learn all the tools of the kingdom. And then all of a sudden, you start soaring into places you've never mm. been before. And God wants us to enter into these realms of the Spirit, and He wants us to be able to be in, encouraged and confident that He who started a good work in us is faithful to yes. complete it. Yes. And he who started a work in you and a member of your family that may have walked with God at one time and walked away, you know, he who started that work in you and your family is faithful to complete it. Yes. It's just totally, he's just totally <coughs> faithful to complete it. In the name of Jesus, he's just faithful to complete it. And I'm excited about what God's about to do. Oh, and we're past time. So um, we only... We're being obedient to God. He said 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. We're, we're at 30 minutes now. And we're going to ask Rob to close out in prayer. And we want to tell you to be strong and of good courage. Go yeah. ahead, Pastor Lord, Ron. right now in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for the healing that has taken place tonight. Lord. Yes, by many. By the word of knowledge. Many. By, by, by coming coming through us, Lord, to these people, Lord. Let, let, let them receive their healings, Lord. Let them receive their blessings, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for that in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask as we go out from here today, Lord, and that we look forward to meeting each other in the house of the Lord, Lord. And if it's kingdom and praise ministries, it'd be a great place for them to come <laughs> to be in the house of the Lord. And Father, we just ask you, Lord, to come there and yes. Jesus, have them come there. And to feel your presence and feel your love. We just thank you, Lord, right now that all those that have that have been on this can feel that your presence yes, is running. Feel the I can presence. feel the Holy Spirit. Run with right God. Now. And we run thank, with running. God. Yes, Be Lord. encouraged. And we to thank run you, with Lord. God. We thank you, Lord, for that. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And remember, always walk, walk with, with the, the king, king and be a blessing. Bye-bye.